Hey everybody, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. Today we're talking about what am I wearing and why I chose this particular combination of clothing. Today I'm going to a rural location to pick out some plants. I'll be handling some pots, being around soil, walking on some rough surfaces, gravel surfaces, and things like that. So I didn't want to wear something like calfskin loafers or a sport coat, which would be overdressing for a rural location and also for handling soil and um, being generally messy, a messy environment. Of course, I could have worn just a t-shirt and jeans or something like that, but why? Uh, since this is Gentleman Scholars Club, I still want to dress in a smart, casual way. So I switched to wearing uh, this field jacket from Spear McKay. It's in a beige linen herringbone. And I've been talking recently about how I picked up a bunch of safari jackets and field jackets and things of that sort just to lower things a bit from the usual sport coat which would be more tailored as soon as you go with a tailored outfit you look like you're overdressed Sh sure i would probably look overdressed wearing this anyway but a little bit less so than with a sport coat and with loafers and i'll talk about my footwear in a minute as well so like i said this is a good type of uh, jacket to wear for this sort of occasion um, it is a field jacket, obviously something you could wear in the field. It originally was developed to be worn in the field, particularly in the military setting. A safari jacket similarly, made for outdoorsmanship type occasions, and so that's what I chose today. Uh, the shirt is still somewhat fancy. It is a one-piece collar in a rusty brown Bengal stripe from the Gaudery in Hong Kong. And I like the one-piece collar. It's probably my favorite collar because it gives you this great collar roll, it also gives you a nice V-shape here, and the button placement is in the right spot, so it doesn't really open up and show your chest that much. So a really nice collar. Uh, when you're not wearing a tie, you really want the collar to do the work that the tie would have done, and this does it because of its one-piece nature. And it's in a rusty brown Bengal stripe, which plays off the buttons, the buttons on my field jacket from Spear McKay uh, to kind of pair that, that together. Uh, trousers do the same. These are uh, cotton linen, also in a rusty brown from Lugshire. Uh, I think that's the way we pronounce it. I've only seen it written on the web. I haven't seen it. I haven't heard it spoken, so I don't know how it's pronounced, but I'm assuming Lugshire, L-U-X-I-R-E. Uh, cotton and linen, um, side adjuster, mid-rise. These are custom made, made to measure for me, and they fit well overall. And again, it goes with uh, rusty brown, rusty brown, rusty brown on the buttons, and then, of course, off-white or beige, playing with brown. As shoes, I'm wearing uh, horsehide from, horsehide boots from Epaulette, which is a company based in California. I believe they're in L.A. Uh, they used to be in New York, but migrated to L.A. a few years back. Uh, they make a, a lot of nice um, shoes, footwear, um, custom clothing with uh, American craftsmanship. And these are my favorite shoes for beating, uh, beating up, my beater shoes. I wear them when I'm hiking, when on holiday, even internationally, I've worn them in the woods in Wales, in the UK. And uh, I don't treat them that well because the, the horse hide is durable and I want to also give them that kind of lived in, walked in appearance. They probably could use a little bit of polish on the tips but I like that beat up look and it goes with this outfit and also excellent for walking around in a nursery or plant center. Temperature is in the 60s, almost 70. So this is about right, a little bit warm probably, uh, but uh, that's what you sacrifice for style in the summertime if you wanna dress in the kind of a classic menswear way. Hope you found it interesting. Please like the video and subscribe to us at Gentlemen Scholars Club for more looks at clothing combinations, discussions of men's style, uh, brand feedback, and so forth. Thanks for watching.